Hi everybody, Semper again with All Things Survival Radio and uh, ATSLiveRadio.com. But I'm out here not because I enjoy being wet or cold or cold and wet, but what I do enjoy is bringing you serious survival advice. And once again, I've looked all over and there's no processed firewood out here in the middle of the, fire, in the, middle of the wilderness. There's downed trees and things that I would have to utilize in order to survive. Now, a couple of things here. One, I'm bleeding calories. It's cold, it's uh, in the 30s, low 30s, and it's raining, and I'm getting wet. So, what I need to do is I need to conserve energy. Now, let's say I was out hiking. I am actually in the middle of the world. I was probably about five miles away from the ranger station, but we've been a lot further today, me and a wife have, and if I'd have gotten caught, then I could be in a survival situation needing to take care of the rules of three. Three hours without shelter, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Now those those rules of three, they become truncated when it's cold like this and wet. First off, I don't know that you could survive out here for three hours without shelter. Um, hypothermia is going to set in very quickly and you're going to die. So you need to build shelter. Well, you need to get a fire going in order to, to, to once you get the shelter built, or in the middle of building the shelter, depending on your opinion, Dave has one, I have the other. Um, but regardless, you need to get a fire going. So we're going to dispel the myth of big knife versus small knife. I don't know how many times I've heard people say, well, this is a mora, it's a great knife, and it is a great knife, but they'll say, well, it's all I need. Really? Okay. Let's take a look now. This is the type of thing you're going to find out here in the woods, and you've got to get to the core of this in order to get dry wood. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be here a while with this. Now, I can do it. Absolutely. It'll do it. It's a razor sharp. It's good quality steel, but it's going to be quite a while getting to it, which means I'm burning energy that I shouldn't be burning because I chose a small knife. Now, I'm going to carry this knife. I carry this knife everywhere I go. It's the more bushcraft. It's a great knife. But I also don't leave home without it. The big hulking knife. Because this is what's going to save your life. Because with this knife, I can process this wood quickly and get to the dry stuff underneath. See, that's all nice and dry. That'll burn. That'll start. I can make a feather stick here in just a matter of minutes and get a fire going with no trouble at all. Why? Because I carry a big knife. I can do anything with a big knife I can do with a small knife. I can't do everything with a small knife I can do with a big knife. If I'm caught out here trying to set up a shelter for me and my wife and this is all I have, I could die. If I'm caught out here setting up a shelter for me and my wife and I've got the handy dandy Buckmaster, we're okay. So it's a decision you have to make. To me, it's common sense. Stop listening to the YouTube videos. The ones that everywhere they go, there's processed firewood. It's not like that. Take your knife, go out into the woods, learn it yourself. And remember, Thursday night, 8 to 11, All Things Survival Radio. Just tune in to ATSLiveRadio.com. This is Semper. I'm out.